tonight. We're all very grateful. Um, thank you. This has been a really hard two years, and just to have everyone come in from out of town and from out of state, out of country, even some, um, to be here, we just really thank all of you. When we started this program, a lot of us told us, don't do it or get out while you can, and now I understand why. Um, this program has been one of the hardest things that most of us have done and probably will ever do. What I believe those students failed to notice was how much this program has been preparing us for the real world of nursing. While it may have been tough, and believe all of us, it really, really was. That's the reality of what nursing truly is. Nursing school has challenged us in many, many ways. I want to start with a quote, again, by Florence Nightingale. Um, she said, if a patient is cold, if a patient is feverish, if a patient is faint, if he is sick after taking food, if he is a bed sore, it is generally the fault of not the disease, but of the nursing. While this quote may be somewhat depressing, maybe somewhat intimidating, I think it truly depicts some of the important jobs that a nurse actually has. So I want to go all the way back to first semester, if we haven't already requested. Uh, we pretty much started off being completely afraid of our patients. We didn't want to touch them, we didn't want to talk to them because we had no idea what we were doing. It was the first time we actually questioned whether or not we were competent enough to be in this career. This job is not to be taken lightly. First semester was when we all learned what nursing truly is. We learned about the steps of the nursing process and all the basic skills that we will carry into our future. From turning, coughing, and deep breathing, the importance of ambulation, and other necessary skills to keep our patients well. Then there were the loved checkoffs, where we had to perform skills on lovely mannequins one-on-one -on -one in front of our professor. It was the most terrifying thing that we probably had done at that point in our life. Uh, then second semester, moving along, it was when we first learned how to talk to a plastic patient that actually talked back to you, and it would breathe and it would die. So, <laughs> what might have been pretty awkward, with the professor standing behind the darkened glass, in reality, we have to learn to be comfortable to talking with patients that we have never met before. While roles were chosen in these simulations, and some students got the easy job of acting like the spouse or the parent. Again, this is going to be our reality. We have to be able to take care of our real patient while others are in the room or behind the glass watching and grading or judging our every move. These simulations have prepared us to be on our A game and how to perfect all of our nursing skills because there's really not any room for error. We then learned about obstetrics and may have seen life come into the world for the very first time, realizing that it all starts here and that one day we could be taking care of the babies that were delivered on that floor. As time went along, we all made it into third semester and clinical days got longer. We continued to learn about the processes of the human body as well as the human mind. This is where we encountered psychiatric nursing. And while some of us might not go into psych, Therapeutic communication was stressed because we will deal with mental illness in any healthcare setting that we are in. We were continually pushed and pushed as we continued to perfect and learn new skills. While at times we might have felt like we were being pushed maybe a little far over the edge, that again is the reality of nursing. There are going to be days where you feel absolutely exhausted, worn out, stressed, filled with anxiety, but remember that you have been preparing for this for the past two years. Trust your gut and the knowledge you have been given from semester to semester. And finally, we got to fourth semester, where we were just absolutely over it. Pediatric nursing was introduced, and this is not for the faint of heart. We had finally, mostly, learned how to talk to adults as our patients, and now we had to talk to kids. For some of us, that was easy. For others, it proved to be a little difficult. That, this is when we met our young Tommy Peanut, a uh, pediatric plastic patient who again would talk and breathe and all that, all that fun stuff. Um, his date of birth was always, I'm four years old, whenever we would ask him. The date never changed, it was always, I'm four years old. We were preparing for our regular exams along with the exam that covered everything we learned over the past two years. This exam somewhat predicts the likelihood of passing our boards for the first time. While we were learning about time management all throughout nursing school, this semester was really where it was pushed to the max. 
We also learn how to utilize all the members of the healthcare setting, which will be essential moving forward in our future careers. Throughout school, there were many times where we questioned, again, whether or not we were competent enough to be in this field. While it may have felt like nursing school wasn't possible, and that maybe we weren't capable or smart enough for this, we were being taught lessons about how to keep our patients safe and cared for therapeutically and holistically, body, mind, spirit, and soul. At the end of the day, we have people's lives in our hands. Again, it's not something to be taken lightly. As a class, we just want to thank the staff and the amazing professors for everything that they have done for us. We know and can see now the amount of work, time, and trust they placed in our hands throughout the program. I mean, they let us stick real people with needles and put tubes in places we never had before. Because they believed in us and knew we were competent. We know that they have poured hours upon hours preparing exams, quizzes, simulations, and tracking all of us down in long and intense clinical days, making sure we don't, you know, harm anybody. While we may not have been able to see this in the heat of, heat of it all, because we were all scared for our lives the majority of the time, we want to acknowledge all of you and the work you've poured into us being here today. We wouldn't have the knowledge and the skills if it weren't for all of you. Don't forget all the things that we've learned about all the little sayings, you know, prevent atelectasis, prevent atelectasis, thank you. Foam in, foam out, scrub the hub, or our three medication checks, asking about allergies, and all the little sayings that we've been taught. While some of these may have seemed redundant or silly to perform on a plastic patient, everything we have learned has value and is of the utmost importance because the people we will be taking care of have value and deserve the best, safest nursing care we can provide. While our journey is just starting, remember all that we've overcome. We are going to continue and grow and learn our skill and do things that are new and terrifying. But remember, we made it here today. To close it off, another quote by Florence Nightingale, because we all love her. She said, the most important practical lesson that can be given to nurses is to teach them what to observe, how to observe, what symptoms indicate improvement, what the reverse, which are of importance, which are none, which are the evidence of neglect, and what kind of neglect. And because of all of our amazing professors, we can. Thank you again to all who brought us here today. Thank you. Thank you.